ni katika siku ya kuadhimisha siku ya walipo ushuru humu nchini Rais William Ruto akiongoza hafla hii katika jiji kula Nairobi amewaongera wa Kenya waliojitolea kulipa ushuru. Rais Aida ameipa hali mashauri ya ukusanyaji ushuru kibarua cha kuhakikisha wanawapa wa Kenya nafasi nzuri ya kufanya biashara na kuimarisha urafiki na wa Kenya. The practice of citizen harassment has as a means of tax administration is unacceptable. And we continue to urge KRA to collect tax with the dignity by respecting the taxpayer and where there are challenges let us continuously engage the taxpayers wakati huo huo rais amaipa changamoto halmashauri ya KRA kuhakikisha wanakusanya ushuru wa trilioni tatu katika mwisho wa mwaka ujao wa kifedha Rais akiongeza kuwa ili kuafiki haya lazima KRA iweke mikakati ya kubadilisha utendakazi wao wa kukusanya ushuru humu nchini. I expect KRA to raise at least 3 trillion by the end of the next financial year and to double the current collection in five years. Kando na hayo Rais Ruto amesema lazima halmashauri ya KRA izibe mianya ambayo ushuru huo unakosa kuifikia serikali. Rais akiongeza kuwa KRA lazima iangazie jinsi ya kuimarisha ukusanyaji ushuru kwa kuangazia kwenye mfumo wa dijitali. Hapa Rais akisema ipo haja ya KRA iweke mikakati ya kuweka pin au nambari ya utambulisho wa kibinafsi kwa kila mkenya aliye na kitambulisho. Technology and a considerate, fair and professional mobilization will do the job quite well. Safaricom, a telco, has registered more people than KRA, a powerful state organization. It is very clear that the magic lies in technology and strategy, not in power and resources. Kwa upande wake naibu rais Regathi Gashagwa amesema ipo haja ya kuondoa leseni nyingi ambazo wa Kenya huwa wanahitajika kuwa nazo. Akiongeza kuwa leseni hizo zitaondolewa ili kuhakikisha wanaegemea leseni za dijitali. Those licenses must give way to show people for people to appreciate the original color of the wall by having a single permit so all permits should be collapsed under one